currently playing the Stanley Parable. I have no idea what the hell this game is, and I hope you people like it. I don't know, I'm not new to this shit, so let's fucking play it. The end is never, the end is never, the end is loading. And then, I'm guessing this is never. God damn, this is gonna be a lot of fucking loading, Jesus Christ. Uh, that's not what I want. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is gonna take a while. Might as well be fucking looking at my phone and looking at Tinder or Snapchat or whatever the hell people do nowadays. Oh god, this is coming to a bad start. Wait, I already forgot how to do it. Been waiting here for 1 minute and 19 seconds. Jesus, bro. How much longer? <clears throat> There's gonna be a lot of editing. This is the story of oh. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Are we rich? Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the <laughs> What a miserable job. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every at least the pay is good, right? Others might have considered it so Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. Did he really? Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. The Stanley Parable. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happen, happen. this complete... <laughs> what the hell was that? Something was very clear wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stood oh, okay, we're his playing. Office. Is he gonna talk or...? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Can no I matter pick how something up? Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. How do I open or pick up stuff? Stanley went around oh. touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor <laughs> did it advance the story in any way. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, I just like touching things. Can I close this? I, I touched the pencil sharpener and it turned off the fucking computer. <laughs> the, I love physics and games. Oh, what the hell's over there? That's a dark room. Oh, how the hell did I jump up here? Okay. Do anything with the plant? So I just gotta do what this guy tells me to? Someone spilled coffee on the floor. Can I crouch? Oh, I can. Uh, 
I don't know what that says. Just touching everything. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. But if I went to the right... A disobedient child, I'm gonna go this, this way. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Oh. Can I not open this? There's a lot of cool rooms that have open doors. I don't know why I can't go through it. Where did I go in circles? Hold on, I confused myself. Uh, oh yeah, no, I'm going the wrong way. I think, I don't know. I'm lost. Did I go the wrong way? Oh, I did, what the hell? I should probably not uh, spin my mouse crazy like this, because then you can't see it. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here. A dollar twenty five, what the hell? Who would do that? Uh oh, yeah. The time. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. Shut the fuck up, I'm just looking. So captivating. That even though all your co workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Shut really up, man. It. Hell yeah. Look at this picture. It's fucking ocean. That's a leaf or a plant. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. Well, fine, fuck That's you, I'll leave. But this is why, if but at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left. To get back to business. No, you know what? Because you're a fucking dick, I won't. That looks scary as hell. Can I? No. This looks good. So bad at following directions. It's <laughs> I'm a problem child. Oh, I need a key card. Where can I find a key card? How do I open those? Can I go back in? Oh, I can. He locked me on. Penalty of the cargo lift is a thousand dollars. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift is five thousand. Fucking medical bill would be more than that. Probably the same. Just touching random shit. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about oh, there's a door. But you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. No. Someone you forgot. Can I jump off? Please. There's a door down there. Make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I don't know what you mean by that. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. What the she hell are you talking waiting. about? I don't like how he's closing the doors behind me. That's a fucking dark room. I don't want to go into the dark room. Oh! They can leave. Oh, wait. I think I already tried this door before. No. It's either the dark room or I can't. Oh, I, I can't anymore. I'm pretty sure I'll die if I try to leave this thing. Alright. Into the dark room then. Close the door behind me because I'm a gentleman. All you single ladies. 
Oh, oh shit, what the hell? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Can I unplug this? As Stanley picked up the oh. phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. But let me double check. <laughs> it's taking the scripts. Here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? I don't know. None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol. I'm ignoring what the hell you're saying right now. Making, or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. What? This helpful instructional video. Don't. Oh, what the right. hell am I watching? It's the best part of being a real person. I but choose not to watch this. I really dangerous. don't. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. Ah, Stephen, yes. Helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Don't give him a flower, give him food. That guy is hella skinny. In a what the fuck are you doing? Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. Huh? I don't even know what the fuck that, that is. Sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. I, I just Turn don't want to listen. That's my excuse. Things. My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. I think this game is on crack. Oh, what the hell? Practice. Uh, with what? What do what do I practice with? Oh. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making I, at least eight I don't eight even know who to do that. Day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just Why is it looping? That in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. This will tell me it's the. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction, but not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Will you get really mad if I ignore him? Am I going back? I, I can't open anything. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna plan on jumping out and they just fucking barricade me inside. Have you jumping off the platform and dying? Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Uh, right. Are you gonna take me back to those two doors, are you? Do 
not lie. You are lying right now. Stop. I don't know what he's talking about. Click everything in this damn hallway. I already checked these doors before, but I want to see if they still open. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Door to the left? Oh, he means this one. Okay. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors... <laughs> he repeated the, the script. Alright, I'll go to the left. I'll make him happy. This one doesn't make a noise. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Space between what? Teenagers? In the idea bin. Well, it looks like a recycling bin. Using slide solution employees. Everything is okay. Oh. Huh? Yes. This one, I thought this one would do something. It looks unique. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. There was two doors down there. I want to see what it would have done. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. <laughs> Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Uh. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. I, I forgot the password. I'm sorry, I have the fucking memory span of a goddamn fruit fly. So what do I do? What do I do? Please speak clearly into the receiver. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. Night Shark 115. Right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. Can you. Night Sorry, Shark. A problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Oh my god. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial. Night story. Shark 5. Or shit, whatever. Night Shark 115. Okay, fine. You're not gonna do it. But you know what? what? It's pretty humiliating to bring what? you this far. Only for you to suddenly decide you have better what? things to do. No. No. Night Shark 115, bro. The kind of respect. Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. Dude, you get your fucking stuff a yes, you, man. Why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you I can't. What the fuck happened? Did the game crash? You behave exactly as Stanley would. Huh? That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm sorry, I'm what the sure fuck happened? Did I have a spasm? You'll be fine. All right. 
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, fuck you, I'm going the other way. No! Why did you oh, do that? What the hell? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Alright, I go the other way. I don't want to break the game. Oh, no, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you, my story, you've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What Let's did you think was so special chuckle? about seeing the, the game done? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? <laughs> what the fuck is that. happening? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down in time? Oh, what the hell? I destroy all of my work? Oh, I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. Oh. I have to. Oh, please do. I have to. Oh. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I can see something. What the fuck is going on? I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you run it into the ground. Uh, can you turn some light? I don't fucking like where it's dark. See? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? Fuck Stanley, bro. My name is Master. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. Are you guys some sort of fucking gay couple? Even occurred to you, had it, that there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Of course I am. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. <laughs> what the fuck? Did it take me out of the game? Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Having an so outer I body experience. I need you to make a choice. The you end. Walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? What the Can hell? Right? Stan, this is important. <laughs> That's the end. I need, you. I need you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Does he miss me? Choose. Do something. You got yourself a fucking dummy. It's more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs him. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? How do I... Can I restart the game? Oh yeah, begin the game again. Alright, this time I'm gonna follow whatever the hell he says. No! Oh. Credits are still rolling. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. What if I stand still? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'm just gonna stand still and see what it does. Nothing? It doesn't say anything to me when I stand still. You can hear like the freaking background noise of my chair creaking. Jesus. Alright, I'm going to follow him, see whatever the hell he wants. Well, but it doesn't matter though, because he's going to get mad if I don't fucking speak into the yeah, thing. Single person here either. To turn out getting fucking talk less. Fuck you. To to <laughs> this king. Oh. Find an answer there. I'm 
Okay. Oops. What? Oh, this opens. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh, no, close then. It's gonna get mad at me. Oh, this thing isn't here anymore. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Uh, you're gonna get mad either way. If I go upstairs, I'm gonna fucking go downstairs. Oh, sh Jesus Christ. Uh, can I go even down? Or is this. Oh, God. I don't wanna go over there. Can I close this? Uh, no, I'll just take it. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. Wait. His boss would think he was crazy. Wait a minute. Hold and then on. something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe Am I fucking looping? Crazy. All of my co-workers blinking I'm looping, what the hell? In a single moment for no reason at all. Yeah, there's a fucking car. Made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did Dawn no, I saw something. behind him wherever he went? Oh my god, and you're fucking matter, freaking me out. Were starting to look pretty familiar. I already figured that out, you fucking jackass. Oh, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that it had been on the tip of his oh. tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! He yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. He his must sit here. weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. He thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy Ooh, this. stretching right now. So, oh, what the hell was that? I had like some sort of country accent. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. Oh shit, I don't like. What the hell? It was so much fun. And Stanley Marvel. This guy must be on fucking LSD. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is I don't there like a how it's getting dark. Dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing... I don't know if you can hear my mouth in the back. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speaking his words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was, in fact, a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. What he the hell that is he going on? Control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. Oh shit, no. Himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. I can't feel shit, dude. Actually, not that I think about it, it's kind of cold. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. Yes, please, do. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. Boring. My life is normal. I am normal. Yes. Everything will be fine. Can I open my eyes now, please? I am okay. I'm still back in the same place. 
Stanley began screaming. Please. Oh shit, what the hell scared the fuck out of me? I have a boss, I have an office, I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real, I must be. Can anyone hear me? I don't like how it's getting red. Oh my god. And everything went black. Huh? Is that the end? Please don't roll the credits. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked oh, around. What the hell? Is that me? But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through... I really don't feel like a monologue right now. I'm gonna begin the game again. And maybe... Obey him? See where it takes me? Because I've been dying in the same places. Alright. Soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started. Wait. And if it did, it stopped shortly after. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. Wait, well, he's saying something different. He wasn't saying that before. Does the guy know that I've been restarting? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Okay, I'm gonna do the left one. It's gonna take me to the office, I think. Oh, and change anything. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss. Oh no! Oh no! 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 no not again! Oh, he I says. Part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's right, office. Right. So we'll listen to him. Or no, no, I don't want to go ahead. I want to go up. Some things are different because he wasn't saying that before. Executive bathroom. I don't think that sound was there before, was it? I can't open that. Wait, this place is different. Manager's office. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in this password who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known. Was that the keypad behind the hey, that's desk me. guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him, and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret. I don't like how he locks the doors behind me. Oh, can I play the piano? Oh wait, I wasn't paying attention. Stanley couldn't possibly have hey, no, say that again. Say that again, please. One more time. I'm gonna click random fucking numbers if I don't get it right. Oh, I got it wrong. Will you say it again? Stanley just sat around. Stanley simply began entering random codes into the keypad. No oh. full well the sheer statistical unlikelihood that this would ever result in a correct combination. If he knew that the combo was 2845, it would be two, another story eight, entirely. But four, no, no, five. Two, yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code. 2845? Oh. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. What the hell? This giving me some sort of portal vibes. Yeah, this is kinda... Ooh, I don't like that. Oh. I really don't like that. I've been recording for 34 minutes, Jesus. My Christ, I'm gonna have to wait at least two hours to upload this video. What time is it? It's 8.51. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself. To question the nature of his I'm questioning what the fuck I'm doing. Who are you? Who is Stanley? Who am I? Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. This, I didn't say this game was a horror game, but still. I make it look like it. Stanley walked oh. straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. 
kind of want to go this way. I'm sorry. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Is that true? Or is he just trying to make me go back? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and actually listen to him because every time I kept disobeying him, I kept dying or getting stuck in rooms. Of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Mm, no, I just turned back because I didn't want to start the entire fucking game again. Ooh, button. I'm gonna press it. The lights rose oh, on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Who's... Who got a job to look at fucking numbers and click this light switch? Oh, this opened up. <laughs> another guy who got another job of clicking buttons. I guess it's very popular in this academy. Or... Economy. Now the monsters oh. jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. Oh, yeah, has an the error lives of right so there. many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them. Oh, sorry. I gotta move my chair up a little. Uh, do I go this way? That, that one right, this one and that one are just the same. 44 and I think it was 30 44 30 or 45 Whoa, this mind what the control hell? facility it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true no way is like looping this time. was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? fired that his emotions had been manipulated to accept and they were fired oh well, guess we're going up the elevator no, he refused to believe it. He couldn't take pirate. His Hold on. Life in <laughs> control. How many? Never. It was unthinkable. Couple Wasn't hundred. It? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over what I'm supposed to be doing? Life. For Clicking random shit, are right? I clicked one, two. Maybe they're in order? Because they were numbered. It was probably three. Oh, that's five. Uh, this one might be three. Or that one, I'm not sure. Well, it was right. Three. And what is that one? That was five, so this one's gotta be four, right? What the hell am I doing? Go up here. It's four. And then the last one is five. And it. I don't know what it would do. It's gonna draw on the power. Nothing? What the hell? One here. Mine controls ideal, awaiting input. <laughs> and it's just an on and off switch. When at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. So that's off, right? You want me to turn it off? Uh, I didn't turn off my game, did it? I can't see anything. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? I do hope it is. Yes. Oh. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. 
Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley oh. reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? And as ball. sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go. This is kind of bright, it's burning my fucking eyes. It's kind of beautiful though. was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Okay. Ooh. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. I can't do anything, as you could tell. And is that the end? Achieve and unlock. Beat the game. Did I really beat the game? That's my answer. That's my question. Oh. Well, what happened? Did I restart everything? I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? Wait, what? Hold on. Is there anything different now? Uh, I don't know what this is. I want to go into that room. How do I get into that room? 420, baby! Oh, what is this guy playing? Input receive. Do I have to do that for all, all the things? I just turned that off. I can't do anything with that. I turned that one off. That's, this is one input. Do I have to find the others? Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. 30. We're 37. Can he really not do anything? Because he spoke something different. I can't go in there. It looks like something I can jump through. Go through that. What is that? How do I go through those? Stanley came to a set of I'm ignoring. Doors. This was not the correct way to. No, I don't give a shit, Stanley dude. Let me do my own thing. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I I could like tell it was a very detailed lounge. And we had one beverage wow. though. Yes. Yes, this it's room. lovely, isn't what a it? But eager to get back to business. Stanley took the first open door on his left. I will actually. Oh no, hold on. That's a dark room, I gotta say. But there was a. Uh, Stanley was so A jumpy thing over it's here. He wasn't there was a door easy. here. And then there was a door Stanley, down there. I don't want to get the down there. I don't want to fucking break my legs. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. I'm gonna wait till he like launches me out. Oh, really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yeah, what? I don't know you. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. All right, I'll give you one chance. Oh, I don't like this. 2B3. 
can't do anything else now. I don't like how he's still locking doors behind me. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Nah, I like blue. Blue is more my thing. Aha, huh? What? <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. No, blue is my color, man. I'm wearing a blue sweater right now. Why would I... Bro! <laughs> just putting a fucking door. <laughs> I'll go through this one. Oh, there's no more doors. Oh! <laughs> Fuck. All right, I'm gonna give this guy a fucking now. angerism. You wanna know so badly what's out there? You wanna find out what lies at the end of this road you yes, chosen? Yes, well, I do. I really you. do. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map. Because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Yes. Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you mm. not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you well, what, I keep talking. In the dark well, like, design. when I am you talking, I'm like talking mad shit about it. Oh, what the hell? A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a second for a skip. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Uh... Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm uh... looking for some real critical feedback here. For your experience. Is this an actual experience? I'm gonna give it a five, it's actually. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, I mean, there's a door over there. A calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea calling in my gut, it. dude. I was fucking I bored, and I just want to give you an angerism. You can't oh. teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Wait, what? I can't teach what? Do what? Is my game blue? Based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Oh. The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. Oh, what the hell? Stanley is online. Is online. Ending achieve. Ninety-eight percent of ninety-eight percent are fucking like. Better or handsomer than him? Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. I would give it a four. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some yes. playtesting. Yes, please play. You yes. Mind taking a look at it, would you? Hell yeah, man! Uh, Fucking rubbing the shit out of my goddamn mouse. I've been recording for oh, what the hell is this? Left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why what? don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. So I'm not supposed to like sit here for four hours?
I wanna, like, let it go into the fire. There's literally nothing else to do here. What would happen if I let it go into the fire? Jesus Christ. Ooh. What do you mean? Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Both, probably. The matter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. Maybe like fucking uh, Call of Duty, I'm FPS I'm shooters. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game just to ease the pain? What do you mean? See. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. I can't see anything. Oh, loading. Tons of loading. Oh hell yeah! Well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing I can't jump. Desired, a game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But Achievement you unlock. You can't understand. jump. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create... I'm, like, spamming the shit out of my... Purpose. Watch this, jump Stanley. Button. I'm, I'm doing anything. going to build a house. No, please do. <laughs> this will go here. No, here. And then... Is he building me a dirt house? Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off... Yes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's <laughs> complete. I made this standing. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Alright. Can I, like, ignore him? Is there any other options? Does not give me any more options? Alright, I'll go into your fucking shitty house. If I can... Isn't it grand? Yeah. Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Oh. I don't like how it doesn't let me fucking... Like, destroy anything. Oh, I could've probably leaped off of this. Eh. Oh my. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. You brought a light? No. What, are you gonna fucking pull out a cigarette? I don't even have a pickaxe, how the fuck do you expect me to get diamonds? Like mushrooms and shit. Dude, it's getting super fucking dark. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This will do at all. Dude, I'm hearing, mo I'm hearing mobs. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Huh? What? I'm fucking confused. What the hell are we doing? It's a completely different route. We're not even in the fucking building anymore. Maybe that. Maybe I like fucking passed out in the hallway where, where all the stores were. Fucking dying LSD, or am I having a goddamn stroke in the middle of the fucking hallway? Oh shit! What the hell is this here? <laughs> yes, I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. But what is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Can I, like, just put it in the toilet? There's a door here. Can I not get out? Oh, okay. Oh, I broke the mug. Can I break it even? Can I break it even more? Yeah. Uh, there's a cube. I played a little portal. I should know. Critical thinking, Stanley. You're 
floor today. Genius. No, actually, you know what? what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these oh. games. And I have <laughs> fuck you, I'm going underneath. Have I descended into hell? What the hell is this? Is this like the office? Am I fucking having LSD again? I seriously can't see. Oh shit, I fell off. I think I'm dead. I'm not. Oh, these are the hallways. Yeah, I don't like how it's fucking dark. I feel like some crazy shit's about to happen. Oh my fucking god. Some crazy is about to happen. I fucking feel it in my gut. Oh, I fucking heard a distance clatter. Dude, oh yes, I am. Maybe that's where the guy wants me to go. I'm not sure. There's like computers. What the fuck? I think I saw something move. I'm not sure. Wait, that looks like my office. It looks like my office. What the hell is that? Is this where the fucking guy sits? Oh, no, I don't like that. I can't see shit. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end, to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. I... That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Are you some sort of fucking god? It's just stuck in my head. This ends, after it all comes I mean, to you got a pretty sexy voice, but still. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. I can't. I do not want to. Oh, it's loading. Please don't put me back in my fucking office. Oh my god. Wait, does he say something different? All of his co-workers were gone. No, it doesn't mean. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Well, this is where I'm gonna leave off. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my character's LSD experiments. And the fucking narrator in the sky. I think we found his room. Uh... No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Anyway, thank you. This is where we are going to leave off. Uh, be sure to subscribe and have those notifications on. And we'll, I'll see you on the flip side.